What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here, back with another video. Sorry about the setting, I just got home from work. I said it in my other video I posted about the, the big Hannafin, Carolina, Calgary trade, but um, I'm still in my work clothes. I just had to make this video because I'm going to be very busy tonight and I'm not sure when I'll have time to make these videos, but um, Ilya Kovalchuk has agreed to contract terms with the LA Kings. Now we knew the Kings were a team that was interested in signing uh, Ilya Kovalchuk and of course we all know Kovalchuk, the whole situation of him before being in the NHL with the Devils and how that contract ended up. But we do know Kovalchuk is a fantastic player. It looks like the details towards the trade are at I believe 6.25 something uh, similar to the Patrick Marlowe deal, the same uh, average annual value as Patrick Marlowe, except Marlowe got, um, was, did Marlowe get two, Marlowe got three years, so this deal should be um, basically identical to the uh, Marlowe deal, so Kovalchuk and Marlowe essentially had the same contract, which I guess is fair, but the Kings are bolstering their lineup, trying to get real good to try to go after a Stanley Cup this year. Of course, when you've got a guy like Drew Doughty, you've got Jonathan Quick in net, you've got guys like Carter, Kopitar, Brown had a better season, maybe he continues those ways, and now you add a guy like Kovalchuk there, and, you know, Big Daddy Dion Phaneuf on the blue line. I'm just joking, guys, but he is there. But, um... You know, I think the Kings definitely made a smart choice here. We'll have to see. Sorry if it's really bright in here, guys. Again, this is not my usual setting, but I didn't. I don't know how much time I really have here, so I'm trying to go a little quick. But um, I think it is a good move, and we'll have to see how good he does. Let's take a look quickly at his statistics here. I'm going to uh, let you guys know here if you haven't seen his stats from the KHL last year. He was at um, SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL. He had 63 points, 31 goals, 32 assists. Um, obviously 63 points. He had 26 penalty minutes and he was a plus 12, um, which is good. He led the KHL in points, uh, ranked second in goals, fifth in assists, and tied for third in game-winning goals. And he helped lead the SKA St. Petersburg team to the Western Conference Final before falling to CSKA. Uh, so he had 10 points in 15 postseason games, 6 goals, 4 assists and 12 penalty minutes, and he was a plus 5 in the playoffs. So, again, nothing too crazy. We're not, like, looking deep into his stats. We know who Kovalchuk is. This isn't, you know, a surprise where, oh, what's this player going to do? I expect Kovalchuk to come back and have a very good year with the Kings. Towards the end of that deal, I'm, I'm probably thinking he's going to drop off a little bit, and unfortunately, it, the drop-off could come late in the second year of his deal. That's just my prediction. But the first season that he has with the Kings, I'm sure he's going to do great. And I think that it's good to see him back in the NHL, regardless of all the outside opinions and stuff like that. It's always good to see more talent come to the main hockey league in the entire world. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more ho hockey conversations with you. Gosh, I'm just all over the place I'm trying to get this done real quick. And I really wanted to talk to you guys and get your thoughts. So leave me comments down below so I can read them and respond. Let's talk about what happened at the draft, the signing, trades, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Peace.